Like with the prose passage, in order to clarify the process of how you answer certain questions, we're not going to go over the questions in order. Instead, we are again going to go over them in groups by how you approach answering the question. So the first group of questions is the kind where, after you read the question, you can answer it in your own words before you look at the answer choices. Once you have answered using your brain voice, then you find the choice that matches your version of the answer. Now for the second group of questions. These are the kind where you think you may know the answer if you saw it. So you're going to go through the answer choices first. Even if you think you might have to go back to the passage, you're still going to look at the answer choices before deciding about returning to the passage. Now let's look at the last group of questions. These are the kind where you can't seem to find the answer that feels correct, so instead you have to select the answer that is just not wrong. The key is knowing that sometimes this happens. So trust the process of elimination, select an answer, and move on while still feeling good about that choice. Let's look at number three. According to the passage as a whole, the most important method of locomotion for aquatic insects. Okay, well, first you may be thinking, hmm, I don't remember the author saying that one kind of motion was more important than another kind. So, this means we need to look at the answer choices first. Well, after reviewing the choices, either there is a type that is more important, or the answer is choice D, depends on the stage in their life cycle. So, what now? Do you go back to the passage? If so, what are you even looking for? Where are you looking? Well, this passage has a great structure because in most cases, the first sentence of each paragraph is the topic sentence for that paragraph. So, a quick skim of the first sentences does not yield something like the most important method of locomotion is blah, blah, blah. Instead, what you do see is that the second paragraph, which is only two sentences, says, Nearly all aquatic insects are mobile, and they locomote in three basic ways, crawling, drifting, and adult flight. Each of these behaviors serves a distinctly different purpose in the ecology of aquatic insects, and the prevalence of each mode of locomotion changes with different stages of the aquatic insect's life cycles. So, it's pretty clear that there is no most important method of locomotion. Thus, the best answer choice is D. Now, these questions can leave you feeling unsatisfied because you did not find a place in the passage that said blank kind of locomotion is more important than the others, nor did you find a place in the passage that said no method of locomotion is more important than others. Instead, you had to infer or conclude that this was the case. And you can see how if you had allowed yourself you could have reread the entire passage again only to still have to draw a conclusion. So if you go into the test knowing that sometimes you have to trust the process of elimination, pick an answer and move on. All right, great job. So again, what are you going to take with you as you move forward to the next passage in reading comprehension? Well, you want to remember the best practice makes plain or clear the process that you will follow. So let's think about it. What are you already doing that is effective and efficient? What changes do you need to make? Do you need to change how you approach reading the passage? Or how you approach answering the questions? Remember, with each passage and questions that you complete, you are becoming more effective and more efficient. So let's keep paying attention to the methods and keep practicing.